Libya said it's struggling to restore oil production and fellow OPEC members are sparing the nation from having to participate in their deal to cut output. The North African nation has revived output to almost 1 million barrel of oil per day, but it's very difficult to say when that could increase to 1.25 million barrel per day said Mustafa Sonala, chairman of the National Oil Corporation that the production target Libya gave to fellow producers at a meeting in July. We are still suffering from the lack of budget, Sonala told reporters in London after two days of meetings with diplomats and oil companies. Libya has explained its challenges to OPEC, which understands the situation very well, he said. The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries and Russia are leading a global coalition of oil producers in supply cuts aimed at clearing a world glut. The accord spared two OPEC members, Libya and Nigeria, while they tackled domestic crises that have hobbled their oil industries. A recovery in the output of both nations prompted speculation they may be asked to join the agreement by restraining their output. Nigeria said it has now effectively capped its production, but no ceiling has been applied to Libya. At a meeting last month OPEC and its allies said they welcome further recovery in both countries. Sonala said he hopes to attend the next formal meeting of OPEC and its partners, scheduled for November 30 in Vienna. While Libya has resolved some internal disputes and restored output from a low of 550,000 barrel per day in April, the country still faces major challenges. The state-run oil company is only receiving about 25% of its investment budget and production could decline without the needed money, Sonala said. Production has dropped by as much as 90,000 barrels on a single day because of insufficient funding for maintenance, Sonala said. The nation lost more than 6 million barrel of potential output between July and September. Returning to full capacity of 1.6 million barrel of oil per day will take some time, he said. 12 of the 19 storage tanks at the Isidar export terminal are inoperative, and half of the 13 tanks at Roslan will for out of action, he said. The National Oil Corporation held meetings this week in the UK with a number of stakeholders in Libya's oil industry, from local tribes to international oil companies such as Eni Spar and Totalsa. The meeting reached a statement of principles that will be passed to the Conference on Libya's political future to be chaired by the United Nations. The principles include the resolution that National Oil Corporation has a monopoly on the exploration, production, transport and export of oil and gas and that all of the state-run companies' revenues will be sent to the Central Bank of Libya. To get faster updates and the latest news from the oil and gas industry, please subscribe to the YouTube new video channel and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn.